So my day got an unexpected jolt uh, of joy thanks to uh, my man Carrington Harrison out of Kansas City, Missouri. He posted this Kanye Madness bracket. And for those of you not watching on video and listening at home, uh, I have up the, um, the actual field of 64 in front of me that we're going to go through in a minute. And uh, this thing has gone viral. It's all over the, all over the Twitter's, Twitter machine. Uh, and it is just fantastic. Obviously, anytime you get brackets of anything cool, it's a, it's a fun time for all. And obviously, this being March Madness and everyone um, all excited about what's to come this weekend and beyond over the next three weeks, uh, this just fit right into the mix. And um, I'm very happy to be here. So shout out to Carrington Harrison for uh, setting this whole thing up and giving me a, a little joy. So I wanted to share this, this joy with the world, because that's what I do. So, we have four regions here. Northwest, Donda, Chicago, and Saint. Now, each region seeded 1 through 16, just like the NCAA tournament, field of 64. Uh, you know, seeding a tournament like this is, or a bracket like this, is, um, is harder than the NCAA tournament, in my opinion, because this is completely uh, subjective. So, I'm not going to fault any misseeding that I see here, though I would have done things differently. Of course, I imagine everyone and every Kanye fan would have and should have done things a little differently. Um, however, it doesn't make it any less fun. It does make some matchups in the early rounds absolutely gut-wrenching to choose and a lot of them uh, very easy or un uninteresting. But how about we just go through my picks and uh, I'm sure I'll give many insights as to what I see here as, as we go. So starting in the Northwest, you had the one seed Can't Tell Me Nothing versus the 16 seed Amazing. Um, I went with Can't Tell Me Nothing as a one seed. They move on to the next round. The 8-9 matchup, So Appalled versus Never Let Me Down. Never Let Me Down in an easy one over So Appalled. And you know me being an old school hip hop guy, uh, I expect to see college dropout dominate the field. Uh, with late registration, not not too far behind, and maybe some graduation in there, but probably a, a decline in tournament efficiency as we get uh, later in life, for chronologically. Staying in the Northwest, uh, five, last call versus 12, Hey Mama. Easy one for me with last call, obviously the uh, outro track on College Dropout. 413, Devil in a New Dress versus Real Friends. Devil in a New Dress for me moves on pretty easily. 6 versus 11, Crack Music versus New Slaves. Crack Music in a easy blowout game against New Slaves. I don't see the Yeezus album doing too well in this tournament on my bracket here. 3, Flashing Lights versus 14, Famous. So here's my first big upset, uh, according to the seeds at least. I'm going with Famous over Flashing Lights. Actually, so these are both, I would say, anthem type of tracks, but Famous maybe being more recent, more fresh in my mind as just a straight up banger. The truth is, both of these are more radio songs than my type of song, so I don't love either of them, but for me, Famous is better than Flashing Lights. Uh, but throw either one of them on at the club and I'm a, I'm a happy guy. Seven Big Brother versus Ten Love Lockdown. I go with Love Lockdown here over Big Brother. I don't love the Big Brother song that much. Love Lockdown, when that first came out, as the uh, lead single off 808s and Heartbreaks. Um, I loved it, and I still love it. I remember, I think it was on the MTV Awards. It was an award show, I'm pretty sure it was MTV, where I saw him perform this for, I believe, the first time, and I, I like lost my mind. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was just so different and so unique, and the performance was sick. Try, um, if you have a minute on YouTube, uh, Love Lockdown MTV Awards, sick performance. Number two, Through the Wire, Kanye's first single versus No Church in the Wild, Off of the Throne. Uh, I, could, I, can, I could see questionable putting the throne uh tracks in this field because that's a kanye and jay-z album so not exactly a kanye bracket so to speak so i'm unsure about that and speaking of putting that in omits some other kanye tracks and one really sticks out for me and that's everything i am off of graduation for me that's like a top 15 kanye track and it's not in the field of 64 uh they're like the notre dame of this year's ncaa tournament Moving down to the Donda bracket, the one seed, All Falls Down versus Addiction, All Falls Down moves on pretty easily. Monster versus Heartless, this is a tough one. These are two songs that 
were super popular off their respective albums. Uh, I went with Heartless. Monster for me, Rick Ross is awful. It's Jay-Z's arguably worst, worst Jay-Z verse I've ever heard. Nicki Minaj crushes it in the end, and Kanye's pretty good. But um, overall, I went with Heartless. It's just I, I played them both to try to choose this 8-9 battles. 8-9 battles are always difficult, obviously. Um, so I played them both back to back and I just felt heartless a little more. 512, drive slow versus highlights, no brainer, drive slow for me. 413, runaway versus blood on the leaves. As I said, Yeezus is not going to perform well. Uh, runaway in a runaway. 6 versus 11, blame game versus roses, a slight upset here. I go roses. Roses is such a unique song. I just love the way he approaches that and arranges it. The beat is money, how it just changes with the. From, from from his verse to actual chorus. Uh, and I like what he's talking about. I like Blame Game too, but uh, Rose's edges out for me here. Three, Good Life versus 14 Celebration. Um, a big upset, I guess, in the Northwest region, we also had a 14 beating a three. I'm sticking with that. This is actually a super easy call for me, Celebration over Good Life. I am a huge Celebration fan. Seven verse 10, The Glory versus Get em High. So... The Glory is one of my most underrated Kanye tracks. I love that song. However, Get Em High is a uh, force to be reckoned with in this field. And um, they beat The Glory easily. I can't believe Get Em High is a 10 seed. That is a, uh, a misstep by the committee. Finally, All of the Lights over School Spirit. Tough one, though, because School Spirit, as, you said, as I said before, I like College Dropout. Uh, but All of the Lights is just a... Um, that song is just an extravaganza going on in all of the lights, and uh, it can't be denied in the early round. Up in the Chicago region, the number one seed, Jesus Walks. Jesus Walks has a feel to me of like the, uh, the John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, Eric Bledsoe team from 2010, I want to say, that Kentucky team. Um, talent across the board, and, and their talent can probably beat most teams in this field, but susceptible to an upset if they face that team that just, you know, applies pressure or gets them uncomfortable or something like that. Maybe not the mental fortitude to take home the crown, even though the talent is certainly there. The 8-9 matchup, Street Lights versus We Don't Care, We Don't Care from College Dropout, easy call. 5-12, We Major versus 30 Hours. Pablo not faring too well in this field either. Uh, we Major moves on and 30 Hours goes home. 4-13, Stronger versus Black Skinheads. My guess is the public is going to uh, like Stronger. I personally don't like the song Stronger, but they beat Black Skinheads. This was a tough one for me and not in a good way because I don't really love either of these songs, but Stronger advances. The uh, 6 11 matchup Gold Digger versus Gotta Have It off of uh, the Throne album. I'm surprised Gold Digger was as low as a six seed. I thought because of the um, popularity and just it's a, it's a quality track, and if it comes on in a club, I am getting down. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, go ahead, girl. Go ahead, get down. Um, Gold Digger moves on for me over Gotta Have It for sure. This one, 3 14 matchup, and here we go again. A 14 over a 3, and this one was super tough for me. Slow Jams versus No More Parties in LA. Uh, I played them back to back when I was filling this out, and I went with No More Parties in LA. Uh, Kendrick obviously shines, but Kanye, you go listen to the Kanye in No More Parties in LA. He goes for like 40 bars straight without taking a breath, and it's one of his, but it's one of his best pure rap performances in this track. He just crushes it. So no more parties in LA moves on over slow jams with Jamie Foxx. The 710 matchup, Say You Will versus Good Morning. Good Morning moves on fairly simple, fairly easily. Number two, Power over Father Stretch My Hands from Pablo. Power moves on. Moving down to the Saint region. Touch the Sky, a one seed. I am not that big of a fan of Touch the Sky. I understand its appeal and why it's, uh, it is an anthem type of song for sure. It's just not one of my favorites. They still move on. It's really tough for a 16 seed to beat a one. So Touch the Sky moves on over the new workout plan. 8-9, Champion versus Otis. Otis, the throne, taking, uh, it, taking one track into the second round. Otis moves on over Champion. The 5-12 matchup here in the Saint region. This one was tough, man. This this was a um, a grueling one for me. Spaceship and ultralight beam. Now, I think placed in the right region in other regions, either one of these either one of these tracks is is absolutely good enough to make a final four run. 
I went ultralight beam over spaceship and, and it hurts to do it and it hurts again to say it out loud and record it on wax here. Um, it's just ultralight beam in, in the Pablo conference, uh, ultralight beam is clearly the best team. And, and they're, it's, they're a 12 seed. From the Pablo conference, not one team is seeded higher than 12. I think that's a mistake. Ultralight beam should be a three or four seed. Um, Ultralight Beam moves on over Spaceship, and I just want to move on because it pains me to leave Spaceship as a first-round exit because it's just so, so good. Dark Fantasy versus Diamonds from Sierra Leone in the 4 versus 13 matchup. So this pod, this Spaceship, Ultralight Beam, Diamonds from Sierra Leone, Dark Fantasy, if you get a ticket to that, I think I believe that's being played out in, uh, in North Kakalaka. Um, if you get a ticket to that one, you are seeing two gems of first-round matchups. I go with an upset here as well. The 13 seed Dark Fantasy over Diamonds from Sierra Leone. So you get a 12-13 matchup in the next round. Moving on, 6 versus 11. Heard him say versus I wonder. Heard him say uh, helped out by Adam Levine moves on pretty easily in that round. 3 versus 14, gorgeous over homecoming in a blowout. Moving down to the final two games, the final pod in the round, first round. Family business, the 7 seed over, over bound 2. Family business easily. And then finally, the 215. N word in Paris versus late. Now, Paris, I'm get I'm getting I'm getting Jamal Tinsley, Marcus Pfizer vibes from this Paris team. I see them, I see them in layup lines, uh, dunking and, and giggling and goofing around, not taking late seriously, while late comes in with great coaching, precision, and uh, execution. And Late comes in and just says, not so fast, Paris. You ball so hard, but you're going to be bounced right out of the first round. And a 15 seed beats the two seed, and Late advances. Paris goes home. Back around the horn, up to Northwest Division as we move on to round two, and now things start to get very serious. Can't tell me nothing, the one seed versus never let me down. The uh, nine seed, and the one seed goes home. Can't tell me nothing. See you later. Never let me down. With two verses from Jay Jay Z, and that a surprise second verse that you don't even see coming. And uh, never let me down moves on to the Sweet Sixteen. Five seed versus the four seed. Last call versus Devil in a New Dress. For me, last call is an easy call. Crack music versus famous. Six seed versus a fourteen seed. I like crack music to advance. 10 seed, Love Lockdown versus 2 seed, Through the Wire. Through the Wire, just for its meaning and uh, the fact of what it's about, that Kanye recorded it while um, which is with his jaw wired shut after, that, after his car accident, uh, it moves on just for posterity's sake alone. All Falls Down versus Heartless. All Falls Down as a 1 seed moves on to the Sweet 16. Drive Slow versus Runaway. This is a tough one. I think Runaway has a lot of appeal to the public. I choose Drive Slow. Uh, like I said, the old school is usually going to win over the more recent stuff, though I do like Runaway. Drive Slow uh, moves on. Roses versus Celebration in an 11-14 surprise matchup in round two. Celebration knocks down Roses. As I said, Celebration is a big one for me. They're going to be tough to beat. Get em High versus All of the Lights. Banger versus Banger. Get him high, knocks out the two seed, all of the lights, and advances to the round of 16. Moving on to the other side of the bracket in Chicago, Jesus Walks versus We Don't Care. Jesus Walks moves on as the one seed. We Major versus Stronger. Five seed beats the four seed, and We Major advances. Gold Digger versus No More Parties in LA. I like Gold Digger to take that one. I just can't deny the hook in Gold Digger. Good Morning versus Power. Power moves on, and uh, we are looking somewhat chalky in the uh, Chicago reason, region in the Sweet 16. No major, major upsets. Touch the Sky versus Otis, and another one seed falls. Otis advances, taking the throne into the Sweet 16, representing Ultralight Beam versus Dark Fantasy. This is that pot I told you was just uh, going to be really tough. I like Ultralight Beam to uh, take out Dark Fantasy, and the 12 seed gets into the Sweet 16. Heard him say versus gorgeous. Gorgeous moves on over heard him say and into the sweet 16. Finally, family business versus late. This one is extremely tough for me. These are two of my favorites. Family business happens to be my wife's favorite Kanye track. It's the one that, that turned her. She used to be uh, someone who was anti-Kanye until meeting me. 
and me just playing Kanye around the house all the time. She has uh, very much softened her stance and Family Business was the first one, first song to make that happen. So Family Business advances late. See you later. Now we are down to the final 16 and just to uh, break down where we're at here, we have seven of the 16 coming from college dropout. So um, I definitely know myself and my tastes. Five from late registration, two from dark fantasy, one from the throne and one from Pablo. So that is the breakdown of the 16 teams that are left in the Kanye madness bracket. Let's go. Let's, let's wrap it up and uh, take it home here. Never Let Me Down versus Last Call in the Northwest Division. Last Call moves on to the regional. They know each other well, uh, coming from the same conference, aka College Dropout. So they're familiar with each other. I believe this is the third time playing this season. So Last Call moves on to the uh, Elite Eight. Crack Music versus Through the Wire. Through the Wire moves on to the Elite Eight. And you'll have Through the Wire versus Last Call. Uh, you know what, I'm going to take it all the way through region by region until we get to the four here. So through the wire versus last call in the Elite Eight in the Northwest Division, uh, Northwest Region, sorry. Last call over through the wire and last call as a five seed enters the first team in the final four of the Kanye Madness bracket. And we move down to the Donda region. All falls down versus drive slow. Drive slow knocks out the one seed. All falls down and drive slow advances to the Elite Eight. Celebration get them high for me this is the toughest matchup in the entire tournament um, that we've seen so far or, or will see moving forward they are these two songs are two of my four they would both be on the mount rushmore they would both be in my final four if i were making the seeds celebration and get them high as a 14 seed as a 10 seed so obviously i very much disagree with the uh, seedings of these two tracks um I'm going with Get Em High. Just when that comes on, it just gives you this uh, this feeling that you just can't deny. And um, I'm sorry to say, but Celebration goes home. If the committee put you guys in another region, uh, you're probably playing in the Final Four. Sorry to say, but you know, let's get them next year. Drive Slow versus Get Em High. It's just uh, pretty obvious where I'm going here. Get Em High enters the Final Four to face Last Call, and we already have two. Our two of the four that are in thus far are both college dropout representing. So last call versus get them high on one side of the bracket. Let's move over to the other side, back up to Chicago. Jesus walks the one seed over We Major in a romp in the Sweet 16. Gold Digger ekes it out past power. Two songs that are um, very radio friendly, very popular, uh, singles, hits. But Gold Digger takes it with Jamie Foxx and they go to meet the big, powerful Jesus Walks, and Jesus Walks, just talent, just cannot be denied right here. They move on to the final four. Jesus Walks enters the th as a third team to enter Kanye Madness final four. And again, college dropout. I did not plan it this way. I just knew it would happen. Three of the four thus far, three for three, yeah, college, coming from the college dropout, Kanye's debut classic album. Finally, The Saint region otis ultralight beam ultralight beam knocks out otis and they do it quite handily gorgeous versus family business this one is really tough man kanye and gorgeous just destroys it and, and i i never thought i would say this about any song ever i don't know why raekwon is on this track it seems that like kanye had an agreement with raekwon to like be on the dark album and he just like, Raekwon sent him a verse and he's like, oh, where should I put this? Does it go here? Does it go here? I'll just throw it on the end of Gorgeous, but totally not needed because Kanye, like I said before about Kanye and No More Parties in LA, this is another one that is on that level in terms of Kanye stepping up to a microphone, taking that microphone and absolutely annihilating it. However, family business is just too strong. The hook is too strong. The story is too strong. And I just love college dropout. Family business advances to the elite eight. And now we have family business representing college dropout. Can we make it a sweep versus ultralight beam? Ultralight beam, the lead song, the first song, the best song off of Pablo, another upset and a 12 seed enters the final four ultralight beam into the final four to face Jesus Walks, the number one powerhouse. So here we are, guys. Final four. 
we have on one side, last call versus get them high. On the other side, we have Jesus walks versus ultralight beam. And here we go, the finals. We have get them high. The, uh, I wouldn't call it a posse cut because there's only two other MCs, but Kanye with Kwali and Common. It is just outstanding. Go throw it on right now. I dare you not to get up and start dancing and get him high. Jesus Walks versus Ultralight Beam. This is where Jesus Walks finally meets its match. And, you know, Ultralight Beam, if any song is ever going to make me believe in religion, it's Ultralight Beam. And I don't know, it, 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 it has a, there's a higher power involved in that song. And when you listen to it, you feel it, you know it's there, and uh, I don't know if they had that power coming down to help them defeat Jesus Walks in this battle in the final four, um, but somehow Ultralight Beam found a way to get to the finals. So we have in the Kanye Madness bracket, Get em High versus Ultralight Beam, College Dropout versus Pablo, first album, last album, and Get em High takes it. You know it had to be a College Dropout track that uh, ended up winning this here that was uh pretty undeniable and for me it's get them high now listen they're incredible incredible kanye songs the idea that you can just put this together and come up with 64 uh without even like trying hard and leave out some tracks that uh like i mentioned everything i am and there are some others even like wolves i like better than uh 30 hours or real friends from the pablo album um or that barry bond song with little wayne i mean you can go on and on it just uh, you know, goes to show the genius and the career and the catalog that this guy has. But for me, Get Em High is the champion of this year's Kanye Madness. Once again, thanks to uh, Carrington for setting this up and hooking this up. Uh, if anyone would love to fill out their bracket, I would love to see it. If anyone wants to comment on my bracket, get at me, chrisheller.me. Uh, on my website or Twitter, cheller32 or Instagram, chrisheller.me, wherever. You guys are smart people. You know how to find me. Make it happen. There you have it. Get him high, the winner of this year's Kanye Madness. Thanks, guys.